Welcome or welcome back to Solo Marvel Champion. Today I'm playing Iceman versus Expert Sandman. I had the idea for this video a few days ago because I recorded a Sandman video and put a snow clone out. I actually just did it. I put a sand clone out and called it a snow clone because I had been playing a lot of Iceman. So I thought that might be interesting to actually have snow clones versus sand clones. So I've named this video Attack of the Clones. I want to shuffle Sandman's deck quickly. When we put Hapless Pedestrians into play, it tells us to search the encounter deck for City Streets, put it into play, and place four counters on it. That's going to flip and have two threat. And then Sandman says to reveal or to resolve Surging Sands. So one is gonna go on and then he mills five. Let's shuffle my deck. I do have ways to deal with the sand on city streets and with the indirect damage in this uh, encounter, so. Hopefully, I can get some of that early. I'd love to see Wolverine early. Wolverine and a an attack training would be really good early because that's going to take four off of here. And then Wolverine can soak indirect damage for me because he's going to heal every turn. There's Wolverine and an attack training. Can I get it all down though? I think I can. Let's see, one, two, three, four for Wolverine and then the attack training. And since I'm going to use all of this for resources anyway, let's see if I can get another double. Ah, uh, that changes things. That really changes things because that cryokinetic perception is so important. One, two, three, four for Wolverine. Now I can get that back with a superpower training. So while it is, I think, stupid to do this, I don't think this is the proper way to do this. I'm going to use this to attach attack training to Wolverine, flip up to hero, and then use his attack of four to take four counters off of city streets. I can then attack for two, which gives him a frostbite. Where'd my frostbite counters go? That's ready. Well, getting both of those attack training right there sucks a little bit, but this will actually be a good turn because I'll be able to clear all this threat. One goes on, he attacks. I defend for two, which puts another frostbite on. So he's attacking for three, and this comes into play. That's three. Minus two is one. I've defended for two, so I take no damage. One encounter card. His attack right now is one. So I'm going to do two for Power Belt. That does give me three hit points. Then I'm going to use Power Belt and X-Jet to play Chill Out. That's going to clear three and put a frostbite on. It's tempting to go ahead and attack with Wolverine, but also, if I just clear that, he has a zero attack. Ice wall would be great to get out too. Shark Girl can come down. That's interesting, too. One goes on, he attacks. I'm going to defend, which puts another Frostbite. 
That's three, four, five, six. Six minus two is four. Minus two defense is two. I'm gonna take that two indirect damage on Wolverine so that I don't have to do shifting sands or surging sands. He attacks me for zero. I get one encounter card. Ah, this one, this one does suck a little bit, but uh, it should be okay. Beginning of my turn, I am going to heal one on Wolverine. See, that is ice, so... I do have options here. I'm going to go ahead and use... Power Belt and three for Ice Wall. That's going to keep me protected a little bit longer. And I'm just going to have Wolverine take this Sand Clone out. That's ready. Only going to draw four. Strength can play that. All right. One goes on. He is attacking, and I think this time I am going to not defend because I'm going to let it go on Ice Wall. That's three, four. When I would take damage, it goes on Ice Wall instead. I get one encounter card. Surge, Exhaust. And he schemes. One, only one. Well, that exhaust really ruined my plan, but... He's going to heal at the beginning of my turn. I'm going to do... Two. Oh, that's, that's a choice to build support. Can either get me my X-Jet or boot camp. Let's go ahead and do two for Shark Girl. She's gonna sit there for just a minute and I'm gonna do one and one for Chill Out. It's gonna clear that. I'm going to attach Frostbite and then because I attach Frostbite, I take one damage. Let's do... Shark Girl is going to attack for three because he has a frostbite, but that's just going to trigger sand for him. I'm going to do that. And I think now let's go ahead and attack for four. Probably next turn I'm going to go down and get rid of that one, especially with a frozen solid. That's nice. Then I get beak and forge and a double, so we'll see what happens here. One goes on attacking for three, and I will defend this time, which puts another frostbite on. Three, four, five, six. Again, six minus two is four minus two defense is two. And I'm just gonna have that go on ice wall. I do take a damage because I put a frostbite on. One encounter card, the villain and each minion attacks me. Well, that's a little unfortunate right now, but let's block my shark girl. Well, I don't even need to block with Shark Pearl because it's indirect. Three, four, five. So I have five indirect. His health is six right now. So I'm going to do one. It doesn't matter because it's still going to push this. I'm going to put all five of that on Ice Wall. Then that gets discarded and he gets a Frostbite. And because I did a Frostbite, I take one counter. 
can get both of these out. So let's do two for Beak. He's going to clear that. We're going to do Power Belt. One, two for Frozen Solid. And we're going to flip down. I'm not going to flip down this just yet because this is a hero action. Beak is going to exhaust to clear that sand and then I'll flip down. And he did heal one at the beginning of my turn. Now I could go ahead and use Sharp Girl to get three damage on there. Actually it would be four damage because that's an upgrade as well. Let's go ahead and do that. Attack for four. And then she's gone. I would really have liked to get a to have gotten a, an attack training on her. Ice Slide is nice, especially coming back out of Alter Ego. One goes on, he cannot scheme, and he gets another Frostbite. This is going to happen, and I have to take a damage from it. One encounter card, uh, sand form. This is another thing that soaks up damage. Okay. I do need to do a basic recovery. That gets me back up to 14, which is currently my max. To get rid of this. Do one for Endurance. Gets me three more hit points. And one, two for Ice Slide. I am exhausted. And that's a hero resource, so we're going to flip up and then do that to get my Ice Slide. Let's just have Beak attack for one. That's going to knock off Sand Form. Then I'd like to do that damage, but... Oh, and he did heal one more at the beginning of my turn. I'm just going to use him to knock off that Sand. I'm going to hold on to Superpower Training to get my Cryokinetic back. One, two, three, four. Professor of Frozen Solid... Two, three for Professor, and then I can't also play that. One goes on. I'm going to defend, which puts a Frostbite on. That's three, and only three. Three minus three is zero. No, attack, no damage is dealt. One encounter card. He schemes for one, two. Heal one. Now that I have no no sand there, let's attack for four. I think I need to get Professor in this turn. One, two, three for Professor, and actually I'm going to use Snow Clone to pay for that. Professor is going to confuse Sandman, take three of this off, and then Beak will take the last one off. It's ready. Oh, I'm going to get an extra encounter card here. Utopia is good to see. Boot Camp is good to see. One goes on. He is attacking. I'll defend. Three, four, five. Five minus one is four. Minus my defense of three is one. I'll give Professor that one indirect damage. Two encounter cards. 
dirt trap is going to end up putting more sand on. And now I have to go find my hot-headed again. All right. Professor X is gone. Let's do one healing there. Two for Utopia is going to come in handy a little bit later. Ah, what do I want to do with that dirt trap? Let's let it sit for a minute. Let's use that for superpower training. And I don't want to push him just yet because after I push him, his damage changes from indirect to overkill. So what do I want to do? It's just ready. You know what? I think that's silly. Let's go ahead and attack for four. It is going to push him. Big thing is... I put one and then do Surging Sand. So I do one, and then one goes on, and I mill two. Ooh, Shadow of the Past is gone. I like that. He has 19 health. Now we're ready. And I am going to hold on to Chill Out. There's another Chill Out. So, one goes on. He is attacking... Now he has overkill, not indirect. But I will defend for three, put one on. Because of this, I take a damage. The attack is three plus zero. Minus one is only two, and I defended, so no, nothing matters. Oh, yeah, no, no damage. And then one encounter card. Sand clone is not a big deal. All right, I think I can clear. If I do this, that's one, two. I don't know that I need to do it like that, though. Let's do power belt and X jet for a chill out. And remove three from this scheme and place a frostbite. Now that frostbite is going to deal one damage to me because I'm hot-headed. Superpower training is going to go find me my cryokinetic and put it into play. Then I'm going to pay two for Shark Girl. Shark Girl is an X-Men, so I ready. And I think I'm going to get rid of this sand and then Shark Girl can attack for three. I do have that Confuse I can use, but I hate to flip down just to get rid of that when I'm going to lose my Ice Slide. I'll, I'll wait to do that until my deck is thinner. He does heal one, which means I could attack for four more. Go ahead and attack for four more. Don't forget, his health is six because of attack training. So we are going to ready and draw five. This could be a good turn. There's an attack training for Shark Girl. 
If nothing bad happens, this could be a good turn. One goes on. I'm going to defend for three. Again, that puts a frostbite on, which gives me one damage. I'm going to use cryokinetic and draw a card. It's a genius, so I don't ready. The attack is three, four, five. Five minus two is three, and I'm defending for three, so I take no damage. One encounter card. Place two. And then resolve Surging Sands. And if at least one Sandman card is discarded, I am stunned. So that's not, that's not, come on, one more. And that's not, so I'm not stunned. So I should have the win on this turn. He's going to heal. Oh, and he would have tacked for zero because there was nothing on there when he was going to attack. Okay, I really wish, though, that I wasn't stunned, but... I mean, that I wasn't exhausted, and I can't ready here. Let's do Power Belt and one for an Arctic Attack. I'm going to deal four and put a frostbite. When that frostbite goes on, I take one damage because of hot headed. Let's do one for attack training on Shark Girl. Shark Girl now has four hit points, two, three attack. Plus, she's going to get an additional attack when she hits that upgraded foe. So she attacks for two, three, four. And Wolverine will attack for four as well. I'm trying to decide if I want to do toe for toe, just have him attack me, but I said toe for toe, toe to toe. Let's just have Wolverine attack. And knock him out. That also knocks out Wolverine. So that was Attack of the Clones. I saw some Sand Clones. I didn't actually get a, a Snow Clone out this game. But it was still a fun game. That's Iceman versus Expert Sandman. Let me know in the comments what I missed. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a marvelous day.